What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Locked Up 365. Today, I'm going to be going over some jail hacks. Real quick, if you haven't subscribed and you like jail related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now so you can be notified as soon as the video touches down. All right, let's get this thing started. First thing we're going to be talking about is toothpaste. When you order toothpaste, it comes in the box. Now, this thing comes very handy to hold your pens and stuff, and you can stick it right on your rack. So you got pens or pencils on the ready. I would take it and rip rip a little bit of it off so you can actually access the pen. And I would take a piece of sheet or towel and actually tie it to the rack. Or you can get, there's like black gook on the window. It's kind of like a sealer. If you can get enough of that, that will hold it on there also. That stuff, I don't know what it is, but... It's super strong and really, really sticky. All right, that brings me to the next one since we're talking about toothpaste. When you get locked up, they give you state paste. Now, that state paste is horrible. A lot of inmates don't want to use it to brush their teeth. It's real thick and kind of hard. It almost seems like it's been setting like way too long or something. It's real thick. But a lot of people won't use it to brush their teeth they'll use it to hang their pictures they'll put like a dab on each four corners or put one dab in the middle and hang their pictures up on the wall so if you look in a lot of cells you'll actually see big white odd dots all over the wall or the bottom of the racks and that's what it's from it's from them putting toothpaste on the back of their pictures hanging them up all right, also, the inmates like to put state paste on their face. They think it cures acne. So if they got a bunch of pimples that pop up, which is very common in jail, you know, your face will break out and everything else. But they'll have that stuff literally all over their face, man. Like, they'll be walking around with these just big globs of state paste all over their face trying to get rid of these pimples. I don't know if it works. Some people swear by it, but I don't know if there's any truth behind it. All right, for this next one, I grabbed just an old sandal, so excuse it, and a toothpaste cap. Okay, the toothpaste cap is very valuable. You will take and saw a hole through your jail flip-flop or sandal, whichever one you got, and you literally just go back and forth. You're going to have to have something because it will tear up your hands, all the little ridges on there. But you want to poke a hole through there. The reason why you do is because you want a piece like that. Now, what you're going to do with it, you're going to grab a piece of garbage bag. And you're going to get it, you can get it as tight as you want it but you're gonna use it as earplugs. Because a lot of people on commissary, either they don't have it or it's just something that you don't remember to order until you want them. Because the dorms can get very loud. So you definitely would like to invest in some earplugs if you can. If not, you can make them for free. So all you're gonna do is just put it, put it in a bag and you're going to tie it as tight as you can. Once you get using them, it will mold to your ear. But the reason for the garbage bag, you just want a, something like an extra layer over that piece because you never know where that slipper's been, how many feet it's been in. So that's why you wrap it in the bag and then you just put it in your ear. And voila. And I always like to leave that little dangly piece a little longer, so just in case you can pull it out of your ear. Because a lot of people like them a lot smaller than this. I just did it that way for an example. Alright, so for this next one, it involves the radio. Now, this is my jail radio. They do not sell them in the gray anymore. Most jails are clear, but this got grandfathered down to me. And that basically just means it got passed down, passed down, passed down. Eventually, I ended up with it, and I took it all over the state of Kentucky with me. In the last jail I was in, they would not let me have it because it was not clear. So they kept it in my property, and that's the only reason why I still have it. I would have passed it down to the next person. But when I was in the 10-man cell, one of the guys was diabetic. He would get a styrofoam cup. I do not have a styrofoam cup to show you an example, but I do have a solo cup. 
what we would do is we would cut a small hole in the bottom just enough to put the uh, headphones through and it will echo out the music so everybody in the cell could hear the music instead of one person listening to it everybody got to listen to it I cannot actually play it because they will probably hit me with a copyright strike but you can try it for yourself I mean the solo cup works but the styrofoam works a lot better just get a little styrofoam cup and just cut a small hole in the bottom of it and put the headphones through and turn on your little Walkman or whatever you got and it's ten times louder than what it was you can actually hear it versus with the headphones that they actually have to be in your ear alright since we were just talking about the radio we're gonna move on to the batteries they are very important not only do they power the radio but you can light a cigarette off of your batteries whether it's double-a triple-a it don't matter all you need is a staple you're going to take a staple break it in half usually this staple can be found in like the church pamphlets that they bring around they usually staple them together so you can take a staple out break it in half i'm not going to do this because i made a video i'm going to leave a card right up here so you all can go check that video out if you want to but we used to use the stainless steel sink you put a positive and a negative you take your staple, half the staple goes on one side, half goes on the other side, and you literally just touch them together and you gotta light it in your mouth. I let, Like I said, there's a video on it, just check it out if you wanna find out how to actually do it. Alright, the next one I also got a video, I'm gonna put a card up above so y'all can go check it out if you want to. It's sewing in jail. What you're gonna need is, you're gonna need a comb. Now usually, when you go into the jail and they give you that engine pack I was talking about earlier that comes with the toothpaste and deodorant, it comes with a comb. Not every jail does give you a comb. They'll make you buy it off commissary for like 25 cents or something. Usually they're pretty cheap, like under a buck anyway. But what you're going to need is you're going to need one of these little bristles. The smallest one you can find, you're going to break it off and you're going to bite the one end, bite it down flat and you're going to take a pencil sharp or a pen and you're literally going to just drive a hole through it and you're going to take the stitching in your uniform just take take that out and get as big as piece as you can thread it through and you got your needle so you can sew up whatever you need to sew up but if you want more in depth on it like i said i got the video i hope you all go and check them out all right that's all i have for today I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I probably will come back with a part two to this. If anybody wants to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or if you would like to donate to the channel, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. Thanks for watching Locked Up 365.